Some of the firepower flow to Ukraine includes the American-made anti-tank weapon known as the Javelin. CBS's David Martin reports on how it's helping Ukraine's resistance. Before the war started, this was unimaginable. Outgunned and outmanned Ukrainians stopping a Russian armored column in its tracks. U.S. officials estimate the Ukrainians have destroyed several hundred armored vehicles, which are the heart of Russian military power. The Russian army is equipped with literally several thousand fairly modern main battle tanks, and it's central to their way of war, which is focused on mass and on momentum. Retired Army Colonel Richard Hooker, now with the Atlantic Council, says one of the weapons that has slowed the Russian momentum is the American-made Javelin anti-tank weapon which the U.S. is shipping to Ukraine by the thousands. Once the operator launches the weapon, the missile takes over and flies itself so the operator can seek cover. Can it actually destroy a tank? Absolutely. It's a very destructive and very effective weapon. Fired from ground level, the javelin first pops up and then dives down on the tank. It will come in on the target from a high angle of attack and hit the roof of the tank where the armor is very thin. The U.S. is one of 15 countries shipping tens of thousands of anti-tank weapons to Ukraine. You can see the Ukrainian soldiers carrying them into combat. Not all of them are as sophisticated and deadly as the javelin, but in the right hands, a rocket-propelled grenade can disable a tank. You'll get what's called a mobility kill, which means the tank may not be completely destroyed, but, but it will uh, not be able to move, and it can, be, it can be targeted with other weapons at that point. What's it like to go up against a tank when you're on foot? It's very, very terrifying for an, an infantry soldier. It takes a lot of courage and a lot of determination to fight tanks like that. The Ukrainians are supplying the courage. It's up to the U.S. and its allies to supply the weapons. David Martin, CBS News, the Pentagon.